Hey, it's Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are looking at CosmoDB, which is a service for fully managed NoSQL databases that are designed to scale uh, and be highly performant. So CosmoDB supports different kinds of NoSQL database engines, which you interact via an API. So we have the Core SQL, which is their document data store, their Azure CosmoDB API for MongoDB, their Azure Table, uh, and Gremlin, okay? And this will be using uh, probably Tinkerpop. Um, so all of these NoSQL engines, uh, uh, specify capacity, so you either can do provision throughput for pay for guarantee of capacity or serverless pay for what you use. So if you are just playing around with the service, you can go ahead and choose that ser uh, a serverless option. And so a lot of times when people talk about CosmoDB, they're usually talking about core SQL. So if you say CosmoDB, it's usually document, but understand that there's a bunch of stuff underneath it. Now, if you wanted to start viewing data and making stuff and playing around with it, you'd use the CosmoDB Explorer, which is a web interface that you can find at cosmos.azure.com. So after you made your CosmoDB cluster or container, whatever they call it, uh, then uh, you could go access your database. So here we have the SQL API. And so that would be the document store. And you could just see here that um, we have, we've created a new item here for that data, okay? And so uh, I just want to show you that if you drop down here, you choose container or database. So we create a new container. Um, also, if you are in um, Azure, it looks like they just have it here under the Data Explorer tab. So it's the same thing. It's the Cosmo DB Explorer just in line. Okay, so you don't have to like go to that URL. You could just click into your um, your let's call it account Cosmo DB account and go to Data Explorer. I just wanted to show you here, like if you made a graph database that you can do everything through this explorer for all the different types. The interface will change a bit. So here we'd add a new vertex, right? And it's just slightly different, okay?